Hello, it's Rachel Reisner from Cats and Hamsters in Montreal, Canada. I'm a certified professional pet sitter and here, here to talk about the Parner stainless steel LED water fountain. So I did a video not too long ago about another Parner water fountain and this water fountain is very similar except it's just bigger and it also has a stainless steel top. As you can see, it has an LED light, which lights up, let's see, those, which I like. I like the LED feature in a lot of the water fountains that I'm seeing these days because I find it's very useful when you're walking around your house at night. This way you're not gonna bang your feet into the water fountain. Also, it can help older cats or cats that don't see very well. It can help them locate the water fountain because it's nice and lit up. Oftentimes when cats get older, they don't see as well at night. And sometimes it's a good idea to have a night light on for them. And this way you have two in one. You have a night light and you have a pet water fountain, which can encourage them to drink, which is always good for cats. As you can see, there is a little bit of noise with the water flowing. It's really just the sound of the water falling onto the, the stainless steel plate. It's not the sound of the motor. So in that sense, it's a nice quiet water fountain and you get the soothing sounds of flowing water. So this water fountain, as with many of the bubbler type water fountains, has three different flows. This is called the flower waterfall. You can take off this yellow part if I can, I'm supposed to turn it into counterclockwise. There we go. And now this, oh, and it's more quiet. <laughs> this is called the flower bubble. So I guess this would be more quiet if you want it to be more quiet. And then you can actually take this off. Um, it's kind of screwed in there. Yes, there we go. And then you can take it out. And this is called the gentle fountain. So if you only want just the water flowing in and out, then that's an option for you. And I guess that would be the most quiet. Sorry. Oh, maybe it just wasn't screwed in all the way. Maybe that's why it was loud. Because I, if I screw that in all the way, then it's... Okay, maybe that was the issue, is that you have to make sure that the yellow part is screwed in all the way to make it more quiet. And if you do want the sound of running water, you can unscrew it partially so that it's looser and then it'll give you the sound of the running water. Oh, got my cat visitor here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it now and then dump it out. Hello, sweetie. And also my clients have given me permission to film and post this video. I'm going to unplug the water fountain and I'm going to dump out the water. Now it's because I'm trying to do this one-handed. Okay, first. but I think I've got a sponge right here to help me every time. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I had unplugged the water fountain before that happened. And I may or may not cut this out when I'm editing the video later on. Okay, sweetie. On to the spiel with this, and as always with all my videos so far, this is an unsponsored video. I was not contacted and I'm not compensated for this video. I just like doing these water fountain videos because as a professional pet sitter, I see a lot of different households. I see a lot of clients with pet water fountains, and a lot of my clients have very similar issues in that they may not know how to properly clean and maintain their water fountain or they're too scared to do it because they're worried that they're gonna break it. So that's why I like posting these water fountain videos to try to help people be more comfortable with keeping their pet water fountains clean, which can help prevent urinary tract infections with their cats. And also just you're buying, you're spending money on a pet water fountain. So you wanna <laughs> make sure that, come on, stop it. <laughs> So you want to make sure that you're giving your pet 
the cleanest, freshest water that you can and not having that water just be run through sludge, you know. So that's one reason why I like to do these pet water fountain videos is to get people more comfortable with taking apart their pet water fountain, cleaning it really well and putting it back together again so that their pet can have clean, fresh water. Yes. But this particular water fountain is what I would call a bubbler style water fountain because the water bubbles up. When you have water fountains like this, it's often a good idea. This is the pets that are talking. It's often a good idea to have a backup water source, like maybe just a bowl of water because if the power ever goes out, the cat will have no access to water because the water is just going to be down here and the cat isn't going to be able to get to the water. If the power goes out, if the, if it gets knocked over, if it breaks down or something, you want to make sure that your cat always has access to clean, fresh water. So if you're using a bubbler cell water fountain like this, if you're going away and you're hiring a pet sitter to watch your cats while you're away, make sure you have a backup, like a bowl of water. This particular water fountain is 81 ounces or 2.4 liters, which is a good size. When I was looking this up online, it generally comes with four replacement filters. So as you can see, it does have this triple filtration filter. And it's supposed to be um, resin, plant activated charcoal, and cotton. I guess the resin is made out of coconut shells or something. So, And the cotton is to help catch all the dirt and hair and things so it doesn't get into the water. One thing that you should keep in mind when you do buy pet water fountains is oftentimes they do come with these replaceable filters. So you have to factor that into your costs as well. This particular, I didn't write down, actually filters only last about one to four weeks. Generally, I would say about one to two weeks is usually when you notice that the filter needs to be replaced. Usually what will happen is it'll become discolored, you know, it'll turn brown or black. <laughs> it'll feel slimy too, sometimes from the biofilm. And so then you'll know, okay, it's time to replace the filter. You can rinse it out with cold water. Definitely do not let it touch soap. However, it's not necessarily going to extend the life of your filter. It's just gonna help remove some of the biofilm that's on top of the filter, not necessarily what's inside. So that's just something to keep in mind that when you do get a, a pet water fountain that you have to factor in the replaceable filters as well and you do have to replace them. This, like the other model I saw not too long ago, has this frame here. So when you're, I demonstrated already how you, you can unscrew this part. This part comes off. I kind of like that it has the screw part because I think it makes it a little more durable. Some of the other models, they're always flowers for some reason. Some of the other bubbler style flower fountains that I've seen, you just kind of rip off the yellow part, which can sometimes warp it or bend it. But since this is, a, you unscrew it, it keeps its form a little bit better. So I guess that's kind of an improvement there. This part also comes out, I'm doing this one-handed. So as you can see, it's screwed on there on the bottom as well. So you can actually, See if I can do this one handed. Actually, I, I think I can do this. I know, sweetie, I know. It's, it's funny, this particular cat started out very unsocialized and was constantly hissing at me. But now, a couple weeks in, we're best buds. Can't get enough. I'm a super awesome pet sitter. Okay, so, and then this also has this thing that you unscrew on the bottom. It's not too difficult to unscrew it with your hands. So there you go. So you unscrewed it. And it has this other little piece you can take off. So what kind of makes this particular bubble style water fountain special is it has the stainless steel plate on top. I don't have any scientific studies to back up, to back this up, but some people believe that having having a plastic water fountain or water bowl sometimes can lead to He's like, come on. Sometimes can lead to cat acne. So sometimes a way of resolving cat acne in your cat is to replace your plastic water fountain or water bowl with stainless steel or ceramic or glass. 
or you know something that's not plastic so one reason I think the issue with the plastic is that it just it can get scratched up and then that sort of holds in the bacteria and then that can lead to the cat acne so when you have stainless steel it's smoother more durable so it doesn't get those scratches when you're cleaning it or dropping it um, or the cat is pawing at it so with the stainless steel it's supposed to be a little more sanitary and hygienic also, I like seeing the steel in pet water fountains because you can really scrub it with a scrubber and you don't have to worry about scratching it. It's, it feels a little bit more durable and also, you know, you can get it nice and shiny. So there's that. And then we talked about the replaceable filter. And then there's this frame. And one issue is when you're cleaning this, I would recommend instead of using a sponge to use a scrubber, uh, like a scrub brush, a dish brush, because it has all these ridges that you have to clean. So you can either use like a, a toothbrush if you don't have a um, scrub brush or just get a dish brush because it has all these little ridges here that it's difficult to reach them with a sponge. And what will happen is you'll get buildup, either hard water buildup He's helping me here. Either hard water buildup or uh, mildew will actually develop. So to scrub it all out, I would really recommend using like a, a plastic scrub brush or you know some kind of scrub brush. So this sponge here will help to also collect some of the hairs. And here is the LED light. This manufacturer actually says that if you don't want your water fountain to light up, you can cut it down which I don't quite understand what that means. That they mean you can just snip it off with a pair of scissors or what? They also say that if you, um, you could cover it with a dark piece of cloth. So I guess that's, that's an option there. And then it has this basic motor pump, which is basically what you see in all pet water fountains. Yes, he's totally helping me here. Let's see if, too bad he can't hold the phone for me. Let's see if I can, um, so it's, so this is like any other pet water fountain pump. They're all basically standard. They come in different colors, but they're all basically the same size and they all, all have the same issues. So you just open that cover and then here it has a very helpful little tab here that you also rip off. I always use my fingernails, just I have short, usually strong fingernails, but you can probably use a butter knife or something to get it out as well like this because actually i think my fingernails are too short to get it out but the and i think this is called the impeller is no sweetie no i did something clever the other day and i got it out with the um part of the this thing I heard from some other oh i got it i got it yes because it's only held in by a magnet it's not really screwed in there so you can just very easily yes very easily just pull it out there's that and also what sometimes people forget is there's also a back cover and like this even has a very helpful warning warning do not run the pump dry so that means that you can't just, you can't just fill up your your water fountain at the beginning of the month and then never fill it again until it's the Sahara Desert you have to okay so that you can open that yeah. so then there's that part. so what I usually recommend is using I don't have them here right now but using a pipe cleaner or could use a q-tip as well and then use either that plastic scrub brush that I was talking about or a small toothbrush can actually help as well to just scrub all these nooks and crannies and the back as well this manufacturer is a little strange in that they the manufacturer actually says that you only have to clean the pump every four to six weeks, which uh, <laughs> I don't know what kind of households they've been testing that on, but that is completely unrealistic. I would definitely recommend cleaning the pump of your pet water fountain as frequently as possible. Like clean your pet water fountain definitely every couple of days, ideally, ideally every day, but not everybody wants to take apart and clean their pet water fountain every day. But the more frequently you clean your pet water fountain, the less gross it's going to be when you have to clean it. So if you want to clean a pet water fountain pump that's brown and sludgy and full of fur and 
is one of the most disgusting things you'll ever see, then by all means, wait four to six weeks to clean your pump. But I highly recommend cleaning your pump as frequently as possible. If I give you an estimate, then you're gonna use that as permission to not clean your pump for like a week or so. But I've definitely, you'll definitely notice a big difference. I, I would kind of challenge you to experiment with cleaning it maybe every day for a couple days, then clean it every other day for a little while, and then every three days, and then every four days. And I think definitely you're gonna notice a difference of how, how dirty the pump is gonna be the longer you let it slide. Because as I mentioned in my other videos, cats drink directly from the pet water fountain. So what you see, and also pet water fountains are usually located on the floor. So usually there's just accumulation of saliva, bacteria, fur, dirt, bugs, food, dirty cat litter, and other assorted things you don't even want to think about that all fester into this really disgusting biofilm that's extremely unhealthy for your cat. So the, the cleaner your pump is, the easier it's going to be to clean it. If you let your pump sit until it's really disgusting, first of all, you're going to hate cleaning it because it's going to be really disgusting. And secondly, it's going to take you a longer time and you're going to have to work a lot harder to clean it. So I really think that keeping your pet water fountain clean is going to be the easiest option because it means less cleaning for you and it also means that your your pet is going to have clean fresh water all the time instead of just the day after you clean it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not really being judgmental here because I understand that maintaining a pet water fountain is a lot of work and it's not for everybody. Hopefully with these pet water fountain videos that I do, it can help make the process easier so that people aren't intimidated by their pet water fountains and it can encourage people to clean their pet water fountains more often so that their pets can have clean fresh water which can help improve their lives. It's always important to encourage cats to drink more water and also to make sure that they have clean fresh water because that will also improve not only their quality of life but also their health which means that you'll have less traumatic veterinarian appointments, lower vet bills. So we've disassembled the pet water fountain. Now let's see if I can assemble it one-handed. Okay, so see how it just sticks right in there, the impeller. And this part sticks in there too. I like that it has this little tab on the side because it makes it easier to grab with your fingernail. Some of the pumps I've seen, it's like you really have to dig in there. It's why, why are you making it so hard? <laughs> Why <laughs> can't you make it easier? <laughs> so I kind of like how they, they did improve on this design a little bit more. You can always tell when it's like a slightly newer model than some of the other ones I see. So see how it all just goes in very easily. And it has these suction cups on the bottom to help it stay in place. The, uh, this part, uh, make sure you're scrubbing that with your pipe cleaner. And then also that it's in the middle. So that way, that's where the water is going to come up. Also, when you're washing your pet water fountain, don't forget to rinse off the sponge. And oftentimes, I'm not sure about this particular manufacturer, but oftentimes you can buy replacement parts like these sponges because they do wear out after a while. But it just goes there, so it's in the, everything in its place. And then this goes back on. go it fits very well and then we put the filter back on and then, and then this let's see if I remember how to the trouble is that I'm doing this one-handed so it's just it's not really I think this small part yeah, it's because I'm doing this one-handed without I usually I'm using a stand here okay so I'm using this small part it's gonna go in here it's not, it's really not that complicated. It's just because I'm doing this one handed while holding a cell phone. So that goes there. And then, come on. Let me do this. 
so I mean I I do like this water fountain I like that see how this screws on I like that it does have these screw things so that it, it does feel a little more secure and that you don't feel as insecure when you're disassembling and then reassembling the fountain it feels like it's going to be more durable because it does screw and you don't have to worry about accidentally bending some plastic a little too far there's that and then it also comes with this silicone mat which I just cleaned and accidentally flooded with water but it's fairly easy to clean it's nice to have a mat underneath your water fountain because sometimes especially when the water fountain is very full sometimes you'll get a little bit of splatter so around your water fountain sometimes you'll see a little bit of like watermarks so that always I mean as a pet sitter it always makes me a little bit nervous because I, I don't want to leave any damage in my client's home but if the client leaves it kind of like that, then it's like, there's nothing I can really do about it. But I like that they have this little mat so it can help protect, say if you have your pet water fountain on a hardwood floor, it can help help with that. Or if you have a cat that likes to paw the water a lot, it can help with that too. Uh, another great thing about bubbler style water fountains, and that I think one of the reasons why a lot of my clients like it, because I do see a lot of apartment dwellers, is that it does have a small, footprint so that it doesn't take up a lot of space. Some of the larger water fountain designs do take up quite a lot of space, but when you have the bother star water fountains, usually it's, it's, hey sweetie, just don't bite, okay? Don't bite. Usually it, it's a little more space efficient. Actually, I disassembled it again, so let's see if I can do this one-handed. It's the Ollie unscrewing that's a little difficult one-handed. See if I missed anything. The manufacturer says that this particular water fountain is supposed to last for two and a half to four years. And I don't know, I do see a lot of clients that have, I think this design in particular is slightly new, so I can't talk about this design itself, but it does seem to be a fairly well built water fountain, so I wouldn't be surprised if it lasts for four years. Okay. And remember, when you're washing your pet water fountain, don't let the filter touch soap and or hot water. No soap, no hot water. Just cold, fresh water. This comes off. Comes off. Comes off. Oh, and if I didn't show this before, this also comes off. saw it. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get it again one-handed. Okay, and it comes off too. So yeah, that's that. So you saw it. The impeller comes out as well. And that's important too, because I do see a lot of sludge that builds up around the impeller. All of it needs to be totally disassembled and cleaned really well. You would not believe some of the stuff that I found on pet water fountains, which has really inspired me to make these pet water fountain cleaning videos. Again, I'm not compensated at all by these manufacturers. I'm just doing this to try to educate the public with how to properly care for their pet water fountains, to try to reduce pet bills and also increase the, just improve the pet's health. I do see a lot of very sick cats who have urinary tracts, uh, who have crystals in their urine. A lot of male cats are prone to this because they have a short, it's because they have a short urine tract. So um, you really want to do everything you can to keep your pets healthy, which will help to reduce your expenses as a pet owner. If a pet, um, oftentimes if cats develop urinary tract issues, what happens is that then they have to, sometimes what happens is they have to be on special prescription of food for the rest of their lives, which can be very expensive. 
also kind of boring because I think a lot of these special prescription cat foods only come in one flavor. Sometimes if you're lucky, they'll come in two flavors, but usually it's just one. So then your poor cat is just eating the exact same food that tastes exactly the same for the rest of their lives because they had one urinary tract infection. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so yes, so again, this is the Parner Stainless Steel LED water fountain. <laughs> I think at the moment it's available for about $42.99 on Amazon.ca. I think it's a fairly well-built uh, well water fountain. Again, I would recommend using a scrub brush instead of a sponge just because it has so many so many small little crevices here. So if you want to make sure that it's totally clean, using a scrub brush is going to be more effective than a sponge. So I hope this video was helpful. <laughs> and if it was, please like, subscribe, and share. Also, I welcome all comments below of what you thought of the video, anything you think I should improve on. I know it's a little meandering. I tend to just kind of talk, stream of thought. I do have notes. I'm trying to get a little bit better about being organized, but I'm, you know, I'm just not a super polished speaker like that. So anyway, I just hope that this video encourage <laughs> encourages you all to keep your water fountain clean and just make sure that you're getting the most out of it because you spent good money on your pet water fountain. So you really want to make sure that your pet has the best, freshest water that you can give them. And you can do that by keeping your pet water fountain clean.